This exercise is to open the, the lower back of the pelvis and it really affects the pelvic floor, changes the tension in the pelvic floor quite a bit. Uh, it's quite a subtle exercise too, but you'll, if you have pelvic floor issues, you'll feel it quite noticeably. So what's really important is that you just use a roll up towel or a, a small ball uh, using, using something too big won't get the same effect because it doesn't open the back of the pelvis properly. So the feet are your, underneath your hips, they're not too wide, underneath your hips. And the ball isn't between your knees, it's more higher up to get a better leverage in the back of the pelvis. What this exercise is doing, this is the back of the pelvis here. As I squeeze the ball together, so both femurs internally rotate a little bit here which actually opens the gap here and opens the gap here when I do it both together. So it releases compression on this side, uh, on, on, on this, in this area here, which will influence into the pelvic floor. And how I set this up, I'm just standing away from the wall, hands touching the wall. And I bend my knees just a little bit, about five degrees, it's not much at all. And then I lower my hands. I want to keep my spine straight. So right now I don't have my back arched. I don't have it doing this. So I keep my eyes between my thumbs so it'll help keep the head position good and I keep the knee bent I slowly walk my hands down until I feel the slightest stretch in the back of the pelvis here you might feel it in the top of the hamstring wherever you feel that whenever you feel that stretch that's where you hold it and I'm keeping the weight in the tripod of my feet I'm just breathing now so breathing in through the nose soft and easy and out through the mouth so just letting the air come out of the mouth. Then towards the end of the exhale, I'm so fogging up on Europe. It gets the side abs engaged here, so the obliques start getting engaged. And just do breaths from there, so get all the air out. So nice, silent, easy inhale. You might feel after a couple of breaths that there's not much happening in the stretch anymore. So then you lower yourself down a little bit more. So it's not going to be much. And we don't want this in your lower back. Some people feel this in the lower back. We don't want it there. If you're doing that, you're probably going too low or bending your knees too much or you're arching your back. So we want to just feel that first bit of stretch here or in the back top of the hamstring. So we're just lowering down, doing uh, sets, two sets of 10, 10 breath cycles. 